Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, this is Clint the Audio Guy back here to review for you the Bellari HA540. It's the uh, new tube headphone amp that uh, the Rolls company put out. Um, and uh, uh, I bought one for myself uh, and uh, to try it out and I'm here to give you my findings. So. Uh, what you'll first notice is that it looks a lot like the the phono stage that they offer, a tube phono stage, highly rated, uh, stereophile class B rated phono stage for 250 bucks. It's a pretty good deal, um, a good performing unit. Uh, now they came out with a dedicated headphone amp. Uh, it's it's pure class A. Uh, uses one tube, 12. AX7 tube uh, for the output stage, and it's actually using the tube for the uh, to power the headphones. Um, it, the the thing I like about about this headphone stage here, or headphone amp, I should say, uh, is one thing you you put it in. First thing you'll notice, it's got tons of gain. Uh, this little volume knob, you want to turn it slowly because you could blow your ears out quick. Lots of power. So that's a good thing because you can use it with less efficient headphones, uh, some higher ohm rating headphones. Uh, this will actually power headphones between six, 16 ohms all the way up to 2,000 ohms. So you'll have no problem driving your 300 ohm or 600 ohm Bears or Sennheisers. Uh, it has no problem at all driving slightly power hungry headphones like the AKG 702s I have here. Um, one, uh, another thing about this headphone uh, amp is it's, it's very nice with headphones especially that may be considered a, to have a little bit of thinness or a little bit more treble region. Uh, than you'd like. Um, uh, this kind of kind of smooths that out a little bit, adds a little bit of richness, a little bit of body um, that uh, your headphones might be lacking. So uh, I know they say, for instance, the 702 AKGs don't. Um, a lot of people think they're kind of thin and, and lack and lack some of the body. Uh, I, I like them, but with this amp it's a nice balance um, it, it brings back that, that little bit of warmth, a little bit of richness and takes the edge off the treble some um, so it's less fatiguing on the ears um, but very very nice compliment uh, to a, a lot of headphones like that um, one great feature or another great feature of this is you have two different inputs here uh, you have high level input and you have low level input. Uh, low level input works great with things like an iPod, which is what I frequently listen to it on. Uh, I just put uncompressed music onto my iPod. I use a, an LOD line out dongle or line out device. Um, goes straight into the low input, which the low input is actually split. You have RCA option, or you can use an eighth inch stereo mini plug. Uh, the eighth inch can come right out of the iPod. You can plug it in there because the iPod doesn't have a lot of power out, so that it has more gain in that channel. Or if you have a CD player out, or you're coming out of a, a stereo receiver or something, you can go into the high input, and then uh, uh, that'll sound good there. It's nice that they give you the option. Um, the uh, the headphone. Out cord, only one one little nitpick for this piece, uh, and it's not really even an issue, is that the headphone cord exits out the back. Uh, I think they were using a similar PC board to the one that they used in their phono stage, and just to keep the cost down, they didn't have to re-engineer the whole thing, um, even though the internals are still different in the headphone amp. Um, the cable comes out the back, but no major deal. Most of these cords are you know, nine feet long anyway, so it just keeps it out of the back, keeps it nice and clean. And then the only thing in the front are the controls. You have a power switch, a volume or level, and then your input selector, high or low. Uh, so 
Uh, that's basically it. Uh, this this unit sells for around three hundred dollars. Uh, I think it's a great deal for for what's available out there at that price. Uh, another benefit to to us Americans, it's made in the USA. I think this is the last product that's made in the USA. <laughs> well, not the last, but it's still it's one of the few. All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh, happy listening to you. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any comments, feel free to. Leave them below. I'll have a lot more reviews up soon. Uh, I'm going to be re reviewing a lot more headphones, headphone amps, uh, and I'm going to get into a lot of other hi-fi gear too. Be sure to add me to your favorites. I'm going to have a lot more reviews on all this kind of stuff that you're interested in. So thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.